Hey folks, I just want to welcome you back to Mr. Cast Iron and today we're going to be talking about a subject that uh, a lot of people have a lot of controversy about from time to time. Everybody has their own opinion so I'm going to share mine today. I'm actually going to answer a question from a gentleman that asked about cast iron seasoning and uh, so we're going to discuss that today. Michael asked the question, he says, I am wondering if a lower or a higher smoke point is better. And it's a twofold question. He also goes on to say, is the oil hitting the smoke point what creates the seasoning layer? So I'm going to try to answer that and give you my opinion for that, Michael, and uh, for everyone else too. But uh, folks, you know, cast iron seasoning really is not that complicated. Uh, just I'm just going to be plain and simple about all this. Uh, a lot of people make this more complicated than it really is. And there's a lot of people on YouTube that, you know, don't help a whole lot when it comes to that. Uh, there's a lot of people that are talking about the scientific evidence and proof of the polymerization type uh, effect that happens when oil is heated up and baked onto a cast iron and, there, and you know and with all due respect there's a lot of merit to all that i'm not knocking that at all but really cast iron seasoning is just it's really just oil baking into the cast iron and michael's asking i'm wondering if a lower or a higher smoke point is better and to answer that question a higher smoke point oil is better and the reason why of course he was watching one of my videos uh, that was called the best oil for cast iron seasoning is not flaxseed oil now flaxseed oil is a controversial subject in and of itself uh, reason being flaxseed bakes on the cast iron at a lower smoke point and if you heat your cast iron skillet uh, above that and, and for continuous uh, above the, the smoke point of the flaxseed oil, it will cause it to chip many times. Uh, now, I know a lot of people, they've had a lot, you know, of, of, of uh, good success with it. And I get comments on my channel and my uh, video both ways that they uh, there's so many people that love it and there's so many people that hate it. So I'm not going to jump in the middle of that right now. But anyway, a higher smoke point is better and to tell you my opinion is avocado oil is the highest smoke point at 520 degrees and that's what i tend to use when i am seasoning cast iron and so uh, recently i just did a, a a video where i talked about maintaining the seasoning and not actually the seasoning process itself of baking it into an oven so you know you got to understand which which one are you doing? Are you maintaining the cast iron or are you actually uh, adding two or three layers of initial initial seasoning and, and baking it into the oven? Now, we can, we can add seasoning. Uh, we can get that pretty black patina look uh, in, in many different ways. It can be done, you can bake it in the oven. You can bake it, uh, you can actually... Uh, season cast iron out on a fire pit or in a barbecue grill uh you know you can even do it on a stove top i've got videos about uh, showing how to do that but that's basically a main maintenance <laughs> maintenance uh code of seasoning on that now the other question that he asked here that i want to address he says is the oil hitting the smoke point what creates the seasoning layer and uh, yes, I would say that that's baking it into the cast iron itself. So um, now so there may be some folks here on the, uh, this video watching or on our channel curious and not sure what smoke point actually is. Well, smoke point is just that. It's the point at which that type of oil that you're using begins to smoke and begins to break down. So it turns to carbon at that point. Uh, but it bakes into your cast iron skillet and that's the reason why there's times that you will go to wipe your cast iron skillet out and your paper towel or your rag or whatever will have a a black um, look to it or you know it will, it will it'll turn black and that's the reason why because of carbon now i mean there's there's various other reasons why that may happen it may be if you've been cooking in it and you've burnt food in it uh, and you go to wipe it out sometimes you'll have that 
but we're not talking about that. We're talking about seasoning now. And so once your cast iron reaches that smoke point, then it is baking into your cast iron skillet. But folks, I'm just going to tell you the most simple way to season your cast iron skillet, and that's to cook in it. I mean, and it's just plain and simple. If you have a brand new piece of cast iron and you want to uh, wash and clean it up and add an initial layer or two of seasoning baked into it, that's that's fine. Most seasoning, or I'm sorry, most cast iron comes pre-seasoned, as I mentioned in a previous video. And so Lodge even says on their website, you don't even have to you don't even have to add additional layers of seasoning if you don't want to. You just wash it, uh, you know, dry it, put it on the stove, and go to cooking in it. Cooking is the best way to build up your uh, seasoning because you're adding a little bit of a layer to it every time that you're cooking because the skillet's hot, the oil's hot, the oil's baking into the skillet while you're cooking, and so that's really the best way. Uh, now, if you, you know, just wanting to add a couple, two or three layers before you do that, that's perfectly fine too, but you don't necessarily have to. So, you know, I hope this has helped, Mike, and, uh, you know, folks, we appreciate all the questions that we get from everyone. Uh, I'm, I'm way behind on answering questions and, and comments on our videos, and I apologize for that. Uh, I'm trying to get to them, so bear with me, and uh, in, I just want to say if you have uh, not hit the like button, we'd ask that you go ahead and hit the like button. It helps our channel, and certainly if you have not subscribed, we'd ask that you do that as well if you like what we're doing over here. But most of all, I just want to say thank you very much for watching our videos, and, and especially for commenting and asking the questions that just um, that that really means a lot to me i don't know everything there is about cast iron i know quite a bit but i i don't claim to know every single thing there is to it but uh you know i i can certainly help you in a lot of ways and we we definitely want to do that i get uh, i get great joy out of trying to help someone be able to cook and uh, take care of their cast iron and so anyway we appreciate you guys y'all have a great day we'll be coming back to you again soon lord willing y'all have a good one we'll see you bye bye